Morning, YouTube and friends. Today, we're going to start working on the top end preparation for Bentley's engine. Let's get to work. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this mocked up. I'm going to go ahead and check our deck height here. So, all we're doing is just doing a dry mock up. So we'll go ahead and get this set on here. Get our wrist pin in. Maybe, maybe, there we go. Where are we at? There we are. All right, so wrist pins in. Again, just dry mock up. Come on, get in there. All right, a little tappy tappy, make sure she's all the way down. set up our deck height tool that just goes on top like so I'll go ahead and get this puppy bolted down it comes with uh, spacers so you can easily just drop them on Like you saw, and I usually put a washer on top just because. Let me take D4 nuts and not drop them in the engine. That's why I keep a magnet handy. Bloop. Now we got those run down, we'll go ahead and torque it just to simulate. We'll crisscross it. Now you can do one of two things. I'm going to go ahead and spin it just to make sure that it's exactly at top dead center, which it is reading exactly top dead center. So that's good. If you don't have a micrometer, well, here's an easy way to do it. Supposedly you can do something with this and counting threads or whatever. So here you go. Zero it out. Oh, the battery's dying. Put it on top. Run it down. Check your middle right there. Lock it. We're at 5.2. Sorry, 0 0.50. So 0.52 minus our 0.46 gives us a deck height of Six thousandths, sixty thousandths. So this particular cylinder is set to sixty thousandths. I doubt we're going to need shims, but that, along with how we CC'd the heads in the last video, will actually be able to figure out the compression ratio. So let's go ahead and flip it over and put cylinder three on real quick. All right. One thing we are going to do. I'm going to make sure the arrow points back, and I'm going to mark this one up top. One dot of paint, so I know that one is cylinder one. Got to love it, right? Easy peasy stuff. All right, so here's cylinder three. I ended up getting a phone call. But uh, we measured the same on this side as the other side, so that's good. That means the case is nice and square. 
It hasn't been uh, shuffled on one side, not the other, or anything like that. So now we can move on. So here's what's next. If you remember, uh, we marked the cylinder with a single dot, so we know that's cylinder one. So what we need to do now is lap these jugs into the heads and make sure there's no imperfections or anything like that that can cause it to leak. So all we're using is a little bit of... Where'd it go? 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 Can you see it? Can you see it? Some valve grinding compound. It's really all it is. You don't need a lot. Just need a little bit. I said not a lot and a bunch came out of my finger. I like that. I'm gonna put some around the rim there. That inside. And yes, we will fully clean this out. Spray down and brake clean when we're done. So you set it on. Just like that. And then you spin it. Well, there we go. Make sure to put even pressure down. You actually see it's pretty even all the way around. Except for a little bit up top right there. So we'll go ahead and do her a little more. change there there we go nice and even all the way around that's what you want that's it so that is the biggest reason why we have cylinder one marks with cylinder one there's no confusion which jug and which head goes where so now all we're gonna do hit the lip of this a little bit get that out of there Beautiful, nice and clean. And if you want, you can take and actually take the piston out. My ring compressor is acting up, so I'm not going to bother with it. All right. Nice and clean. Now, take a little thin oil, make sure my hand's clean. Come on, pump, pump, pump. Yeah. Thin amount of oil. Lubricate that back up. And then we're done with this cylinder until we're ready to install. That's it. Simple. Now the fun thing is, I have to do this three more times. I'll spare you the details. Bring you back when we're done. Well guys, that's it. That's how you mock up the uh, top end of a Volkswagen engine. Pretty simple, straightforward. Sure, you could eliminate a lot of those steps and just slap it together. I uh, won't guarantee that it'll be the best it can be or the correct way to do it. Call me OCD, call me whatever you want. I like things to be right. So anyway, stay tuned. We're gonna have another one coming up we got to get this engine done. So anyway, until the next time, be good.